Well, some want to know, after you get both doses of the vaccine, can we go back to the way things were pre-pandemic and not wear our masks or keep six feet from people? Kimberly Davis spoke with a local doctor who's reminding people this vaccine doesn't give us carte blanche. These vaccines are designed to prevent disease symptoms. So you still may get the infection, but where these vaccines work is to prevent the serious disease symptoms. It can be an emotional moment for those who've decided to be vaccinated against COVID-19. Literally, they cry, you know, because they're so worried, they're scared. The other day I had this person, I mean, he just literally, this gentleman just started crying. Dr. Rob Danoff oversees the COVID vaccination center at Jefferson Northeast Bucks Campus. I can tell you at our center just a few days ago, a few people said, oh, doc, now I don't have to wear the facial coverings anymore. I go, oh, yes, you do. Though folks can be comforted knowing they most likely won't experience serious symptoms related to COVID, you still can't let your guard down. We still need to wear our facial coverings. We still need to socially distance. We still need to wash our hands even if you have the vaccine. Until 85 to 90 percent of the population is vaccinated, this new normal will have to continue. If the other person is not protected themselves or has not had the vaccine, they potentially can still get the infection and get very sick. Dr. Danoff says the medical community is hoping regular everyday people will be able to be vaccinated by the end of April or even May, especially if the Johnson & Johnson vaccine is approved. Reporting in the Spring Garden section of Philadelphia, I'm Kimberly Davis, CBS 3 Eyewitness News.